Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. My name is Steven Marketeros and today we are going to be starting an adventure with my brother uh, Alexander Marketeros. If you'd like hello to say everybody, hello. it's been quite a while. Yeah, so he has been playing uh, a little bit of uh, this game, uh, as some of you may very well know. If you'd press uh, Shift Tab for us, Alex, and tell us how many hours that Steam account rings up on, on the amount you've played. Uh, 487 hours. Yeah, 487 hours. So I guess he has a little bit of experience with Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, I'm playing on our uh, secondary alternative account that has um, about 46 hours on it. So do that math there, and you'll come up with something about 500. It's pretty good. So, uh, you, do you want to describe to us a little bit about what we're going to be doing here today? Uh, we are going to be playing as two of the uh, countries that were focused in the Death or Dishonor DLC. Uh, um. I will be playing as Hungary. Uh, Steven here will be playing the Kingdom of Romania. And Yeah, uh, I'm, we... I'm told that Romania is a better country to play than Yugoslavia. Yeah, we are not sure what we're, our actual goals are as far as joining the Axis Common Term or Allies. We're going to see... I'd also like to point out that we're not being sponsored by uh, Paradox Interactive or their parent company, if one exists. Uh, Paradox that... Interactive is the developer and publisher of this game. Yeah, we're not we're not being sponsored to play this. We're just doing it because we like playing Hearts of Iron, and I feel like we should point that out because it was very specific. How we were like, welcome back to Hearts of Iron. We're now playing the Death and Dishonor expansion pack here today in a special episode for no particular reason. So oh. <laughs> it's, just, it's good to point that out. Whoa, what's going on here? Uh, King's mistri mistress purchases villa. What the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got a villa, dude? Yeah, yeah. Apparently someone bought a new villa in Bucharest. Do, do you she... think me as uh, Nicholas... I'm sorry. What is my name? Miklos Horthy could come and visit you? <laughs> Probably not. It is uh, 1936. I think there's a lot of stuff going down in uh, south and, and, and middle western There's Europe nothing right bad now. going on in this country. All right. New evidence in foreign newspapers strongly suggests that the king himself authorized the purchase with government money. Whoa. Scandal is spreading, and we must make a decision. All right. So is this like a, is this? Have you played uh, Death and Dishonor before? Yes. So is is this Romania action here? If I click the uh, supplementary budget, which gives me consumer goods factories twenty percent for ninety days, then increase on the current. It just says consumer good factories twenty percent for ninety days. That that's probably. I would think increase. it would lower it because you're at thirty percent now. Well, then I'm not sure what. What the bat? Because the other one says three percent. Then it must that must increase it. Okay. Um. Well. Um. I'm gonna put uh the. Oh, this is a really tough decision. There's an awful lot of Romanian troops on my border. Okay. Uh, uh, King took out the, the money. It's uh it's an unfortunate mistake. I don't. Think, I'd also like to point out to the viewers at home that uh. I can't hear any of the in-game audio right now. Well, you probably can. We're experimenting with a bunch of uh, new cool software that hopefully Ooh. will make the audio sound better. Experimenting. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it usually just epically fails on us and, and doesn't actually work anyway, and the video comes together in some strange way that we have a disclaimer flashing across the screen. But uh, Definitely. Uh, I, yeah, man, Romania has no resources. Like, I'm just out of everything. Dude, you have, like, gallons of oil. Ga what? No, I don't. You have 70 in, in uh, Ploesti. Can I trade it for iron? I mean, um, I have no... I'm buying iron from Sweden. Dude, do you think you're screwed on resources? The only one I have is aluminium. Oh, I want to see this. Uh, what what the heck do I use aluminium for? Planes, but you're not Britain, so that's not going to help you too much. I have one oil. What am I going to fuel them with? Wait, Water? so what country... You're playing as Hungary, right? Yeah. So the, holy they... crap, you have 194 aluminum? Yeah, I got gallons of aluminum, or I got pounds of aluminum. Jeez. I Do could... you have that 20 iron, or is that, that sorry, is, steel? Uh, that is check. Ah, oh, darn. I, I'm going to uh, be reforming the uh, Austro-Hungarian uh, dominance of Central Europe. Really? Yes. Not sure. Oh, and there's no light cruisers for me to build. Those were the cheat, the cheat ships of the game. Oh, dude, I am building a whole massive flotilla of destroyers. Yeah, I'm uh, beginning construction on uh, destroyers. Do, do, and... Dude, do you see these two rivers that go through my country? They're going to be have so many destroyers on them. I'm not sure how you're actually going to uh, get that. Whoa! Oh, God, okay. Sorry, that scared me. Oh, the Spanish <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just, like, talking about rivers and suddenly, like, whoa, a Civil War. Oh, I got a feeling the Nationalists are going to win. Oh, just a feeling? But Maybe I'll not... back the Republicans. You, I don't think you can. Hmm... 
Oh, so yeah. you're supposed to tell me a really good story in a little bit. So, oh, since yeah. things are a little slow right now, I don't see why not. Oh, I'm, things are slow right now. We get, we're choosing national policies right now. We're trying to just determine whether or not we're supposed to preserve Greater Romania. I don't even know Belkins. what Greater Romania is. You're the kingdom Dominant. of Romania. So, uh, this is... I don't know the Romanian uh, <coughs> tree, right? So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I don't know it either. Uh, so... Invite German advice. Oh, good lord. Okay, remilitarization of the Rhine. I need to decide, though, because history is flying by right now, and Romania's just sitting We're three in the back corner. In, dude. Only three. <laughs> We're, just, We're just chilling over here going, we don't need to decide what to do. You know, I'm just saying, but Romania's a little bit better because we share a border with the Soviet Union, and you don't. But I, I mean, share a border with you, so. We can get that direct trade with the Soviet Union. You can't. I think that's a pretty good plus right there. I actually think I I can trade with the Soviet Union. Well, yeah, but you're going to have to either go through Czechoslovakia, Poland, or uh, your big old neighbor, neighbor Romania over here. Well, luckily, I'm friends with all of those. And it looks like your flotilla of rivers you were telling me about doesn't actually go to the Soviet Union. No, it doesn't. <laughs> they mostly flow through Romania and are... Uh, are uh, I'm trying to think of how to describe the people to the south of us okay. um <laughs> our neighbors that our, our friendly neighbors that maybe want to be part of the austro or the part of the hungarian empire that reborn That's oh so okay. anyway you were supposed to tell us that story before you got sidetracked about some sort of royal scandal <laughs> i'm sorry all right it seems like a pretty big deal to me at the time it wasn't all right so uh this weekend i decided to uh go and exercise because now i'm b back working in an office in the summer and so some friends invited me to go work out at uh the well, i guess the the, the the aurora wellness center in town you know alec uh-huh yeah so anyway uh we end up going there and we're just doing a bunch of exercises because like i am just super out of shape but like I'm always like super into exercise, so I like to I like to go around and uh, and exercise as uh, as much as like as hard as I can. Like I was I was super into it. You should have seen me in high school, man. I was just like, uh, like oh, I uh, saw you in high school. Did you? Oh, but like I was like super into like exercise and stuff, though. I just you know I was uh, so kind of like the white nerdy kid. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you get where I'm going with that. But uh, I'm super yeah. into exercise. He, he really like, is. Empire is moving so cream. quickly right now. Okay, but anyway, uh, we go to uh, we we go to exercise, and I'm like super into it. So, uh, I used to be okay at squats in my day. So, I was like, you know, it's been like eight months. I only weigh like 120, 125, 130 pounds. So I was like, you know, 85 is pretty good, pretty good like initial squat weight for me. Okay, like, uh, that's like pretty intense. Um, so yeah, do three sets of that. Virtually can't walk anymore. Ouch. My quads uh, in the front of my legs just absolutely destroyed. I, I cannot sit up or, or get down without, like, holding on to something. It's it's awful. That sounds pretty bad. I I, I tried to get down to pet <laughs> our dog on the floor, and... Uh, the dog, evil pig. Yeah, and I just uh, I just fell onto the floor. I <laughs> had to crawl over to the couch to get back up. It was awful. <laughs> Any of you guys who have ever seen my computer, to my computer monitor, I'm sure you remember Honey Badger. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the uh, the old dog, Rip Honey Badger. No, she was she was pretty darn old. So uh, yeah, I don't think it, we're, it uh... literally was so stiff. I seen pieces of plywood more flexible than that dog was. That dog that dog would fall over and it literally couldn't get up until you were you'd like pick it up and then it would scream because it was so <laughs> stiff. Yeah. It okay. Was, it was bad. I got a, uh, a message here. It says, King throws lavish party. Despite being vetted by the king himself, the official coverage of recent feast has caused great public dissent. Pictures of the mistress in expensive fresh evening gown. Seven course meal. Blah, blah, blah. Sounds like a normal dinner for this king. Did, did you invite Miklos Horthy this time? Uh, maybe. Uh, of course, the king demands that we make a public statement of support uh, at once for... I'm going to be disappointed if your friendly neighbor, the kingdom of Hungary, was not invited to this royal feast. I feel like every time like something happens in this country, I have to lose political power. Like, come on, man. Oh, look at the Republicans. They're winning. Really? No. Oh, no, they lost control of Madrid. That's pretty much end game, eh? Yep, they're done. I'm, I'm sure the uh, big brother Joe is sending them some volunteers, though. 
heck is Big Brother Joe? Oh, uh, Stalin? Oh, okay. <laughs> never heard Big him Brother re- Joe. <laughs> never have heard him referred to as Big Brother Joe. That's weird. <laughs> You could just call him Stalin, man. That's, that's the name he came with. I could. It's not like our other uh, big brother somewhere else in some other country. Oh. That we can't name because someone told me that it would affect monetization on YouTube videos. Possibly. <laughs> the Yogg's Cast claim, but I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> After the whole adpocalypse, man. They call him Mario. So <laughs> we can call him Mario as well. <laughs> See, he's got the Mario? mustache like Mario does. What? Really? Yeah, look at him. He's got the little mustache. Does Mario have that kind of mustache? I'm going to have to look this up now. I don't I don't I don't know. Like Mario from the that one game, uh Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Uh Super Mario Bros. I I want to confirm or deny this uh right now before this uh <laughs> this gets out of hand. <laughs> Mario's Mario's mustache is a little bit wider than that. It's, it's uh at least from these uh Google images I'm looking at right now, but um Will you sign the blood agreement if I propose it? I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty awful. Allowing the country of Hungary to rearm? Um, I already am rearming. <laughs> no, the country of Hungary. Oh, oh, you're the you're Hungary. That's right. Um, yeah. No, why would I sign that? I don't want you to have weapons. Or, uh... Do you think you could let a few Hungarians in? We want to check the we want to check out the beautiful countryside of Romania. You know, I don't know about that. I don't know. We want to we want to send Miklos Orthian for the grand feast. <laughs> I don't think you need an entire military presence to do that. No, we just want to send in Miklos Horthy's hussars. Mm-hmm. Will you please let us in? No, I've uh, I've upped my uh, military presence on the border. Will you please let him in? No. He wants, to, he wants to go to the feast. I don't know about this. It sounds pretty uh sounds pretty bad. It says I can't enter because you guys will shoot me. Can I please come in? No, we're uh, we're you busy. Can re- re- you can revoke your access at any time. <laughs> we're busy defending against your like one pair of horsemen defending the border. No, that's a what? diplomatic what? mission. What is that? Is that you? Literally, just have one unit on the border. <laughs> Why am I worried about you? Like, where are your other units? Like, what are you guarding against? Like the evil invaders of Czechoslovakia that are gonna come raiding you at some point? No, I'm more worried about t- the uh, doorstep to the south. Doorstep. What is that? Get- why would Yugoslavia invade you? The big purple blob? That that looks like a great part of Hungary. What? What, what did not, what, Dude, look at all that rivers that my destroyers can drive down. <laughs> if our, you our invade, destroyers could go all the way to the ocean. Actually, not even. If you invade Yugoslavia, I'll be forced to invade Hungary. Why? I, I'm in a pact with Yugoslavia. You better not be. Dude, just let the diplomatic mission in. I don't In case no. things go bad, we need to hide. No. <laughs> what? You need to hide? Well, yeah, this... <laughs> if Mario sends his uh, stormtroopers after us, we need to hide somewhere. <laughs> this sounds like a rather horrible idea. He has stormtroopers, dude. We need to be safe. I really need to get some... some. They've changed the trade menu. Why did they do this? It's kind of confusing, no? It, it looked exactly... It looked fine before. <laughs> now, they, <laughs> now they've turned it into a spreadsheet. Please approve the blood agreement. <clears throat> Hungary demands the right to rearm. Almost, I almost said that worm. Citing the ever worsening political situation in Europe and the complete failure of the League of Nations to stop this, Miklas Horthy has publicly announced that his government will seek to support. Oh no, sorry, the <laughs> king threw another lavish party. <laughs> Dude, let us in. We want a party. I can't please get approve one the blood message. agreement. Without the king throwing a party in the middle of it. Please approve the agreement. Hold up, I should decide whether or not. I I cannot believe this keeps happening. <laughs> this dude's seriously got to get his act together. Dude, we, we're going to send you another request to get in. Okay, okay. Uh, publicly, neighboring missions to. The Treaty of Trianon, without mentioning territory, discussed only the restrictions on the Hungarian military. And secure formal agreement to the Hungarian rearmament. Uh, they must be... Why Why did Hungary... Uh, whatever, sure, go for it. I'm being punished from World War One. I. I didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. I don't know, it kind of sounds like you did, though. World War One happened before now. How did I do anything wrong? 
That's not you how time works. Okay, I was gonna say, why aren't you approving this? Alright guys, so thanks for watching, but that's all the time we're going to have for episode 1 of Hearts of Iron Multiplayer, the special series. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. It's the best way to get notifications about new videos that are coming out to you right now. Otherwise, give us a thumb and tell us how you're doing down below in that comment section, because we love to read that. We love to see your opinions on what we should do if we make another series just like this one. My name is Steven Mercateros, and I will see you guys next time.